Well, hey, folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. And yeah, look at those two nice Webers there. Those are the ones that I, in a couple videos ago, I lengthened the legs. And you can see them down there. I lengthened the legs by six inches. And what we're going to do today, I've had a couple other people do the same thing, and it's been successful. I've had some, some people asking some questions, and some pe people make some, some su suggestions. So what, what we're going to do today is uh, we'll take a little closer look at this mod. Uh, I, I think a lot of people are going to be trying this um, but I'm going to do one improvement to today, so stay tuned, and uh, hopefully by the end of this video, this thing will be perfect. So stay tuned for that. All right, you got a grill tipped upside down on some saw, saw horses here, and you can see there there is a little weeble wobble here. This this does does need to be addressed, folks. You know, we're just like I said, playing around with things. I am not uh, uh, selling anything here. I'm just trying to help everybody out. Uh, but let, let, let's start for the first question. A lot of people have questions thinking that this conduit only runs like up to here. Uh, the, the conduit goes the whole length of the, of the leg. And um, you can see it right there. It goes the whole length of the leg. Uh, you know, so th those of you who, if you watch the whole video, you'll see it does hold the whole length of the leg. So the structure is really coming from your conduit. So what we want to do to stiffen this up is we've got the holes down here in the bottom of the, the kettle and we're going to put a sheet metal screw in there, a stainless steel sheet metal screw so it doesn't rust. So um, give you a look-see at that. All right, that's what we're going to use like this, a stainless steel sheet metal screw. It is a uh, self-tapper, but uh, that's meant for like sheet metal. It's not meant for conduit. So uh, we are going to drill a pilot hole. So drill a pilot hole, you see I also got a washer on there. I don't think that's stainless steel though. Um, but you should use stainless steel. So I, did, I went through my toolbox and everything and all my stores and I couldn't find one. I couldn't find any stainless steel. I, I did actually, but they were too small. So we're just going to throw this in there, drill a pilot hole, and give you a look-see. All right, let's drill a pilot hole. Folks, remember, if you're not comfortable using power tools, don't. Make sure you follow all the safety recommendations. And... use a sharper drill bit than I'm using. <laughs> Alright, the stainless steel sheet metal screw I'm using is a 3 16 um, Like I said, you can use anything in here. And you can see that really tightens it up nice. So we got one more to do and then we'll give you a look-see as to how it's strengthened it up. Stay tuned. Alright, there's it all complete here. Uh, this one I did, uh, the green one I have not done yet and I'll just you can see how she moves a little bit there. And now the black one, nice and tight. I'll tell you what, that, that certainly <laughs> three sheet metal screws. Should have done that to begin with, folks. Uh, I do apologize for that. But uh, if you're doing this, it, I mean, it's still going to work. Uh, this will just tighten it up. Three sheet metal screws up in the legs and tightens everything up. Folks, I, I, I hope, you, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Don't forget to watch the video where I actually did the, the modification, the length of the legs on that. It'll help you out a lot. Like I said, if you're a taller guy like me, I'm 6'3". Six, six, so, the, I mean, this really, really does help. And I've done a couple cooks on them since, and uh, it's really nice not having to bend down that far. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, as always, Tom Horseman at YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.